Welcome back to the Ascendant Lands. Last time we left off, um, you guys had managed to survive the rest of your journey through Lyra's Mists and arrive safely and securely in Krugic Village, where you gave Krusk, not Krusk, sorry, we gave Arg a bit of a heads up that the Ridden's in a bit of trouble. And we last left off, you guys had met up with Dear Arg in the Salty Fox Tavern slash inn, and he wasn't looking very happy. Hmm. Well, who's gonna who's gonna talk to the uh Arg in Daddy's a bad gonna mood? wave. I think the person who's at fault here should probably talk to Arg. Should immediately turn to the in. I didn't do anything wrong. Well, hmm. <laughs> can we hire a couple of rooms to go upstairs and so we can have our shouting match in private? Uh, yeah. Yes, I suppose. But I the should wall's get... going to be thick enough. Probably not, but you know, we've at least tried. I could put silence on the door, I suppose. But, you know. What? Just the door? I don't know. I, I guess. I don't know how that would if that would work. It should be sure, fine. I'm sure the. Is on the door. I'm sure, like, I'm sure people would still be able to hear through the wall. Probably. I mean, you know, it, it's an it's an inn. I'm sure people have Adios? shouted through the air. They hear all sorts between the walls. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm sure I've heard pretty terrible things in inns before, and no one bats an eyelid. Mm. It's actually quite interesting. Screams. Not even a thought about it. Probably about an eyelid if I heard somebody screaming in the room next. I know you would think so as well, but funnily enough, in certain taverns, you pick the right one. Not an eyelid. Hmm. Well, wasn't it? Lucky for you. The broken, whatever. Those are the ones that probably don't want to, you know, be caught in. Or the brothel. Yes, that that too. Yes, screaming there for a completely different reason. Well, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so Thoradin. Mm -hmm. I'll get I'll get a room because you know we seem to do that now. Tradition, so, isn't it? At this yes. point. Yes. Yes. All business conducted into large room. You should start charging. Hmm. You'd think. I'd rather she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so T Talari will will uh, <clears throat> at least go get a room. However much okay. that is. Um... So it'll be five silver. Five silver. All right. Well, cool. Cool. Yep. Done. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, I'll go, um. Watch you. He was caught, he's like simmering a beer. Um. Just like watching you guys just walk in. Thoroughly look a little bit like I did nothing wrong. Sure. Um. Natty's gonna wave at him. Yeah. If he'll him. give a customary wave. Um. And then you'll see. Uh, Talari go over and order a room and wait until you'll get up with all you follow you all upstairs to Talari's room. Um, once you get in, Arg will put his fingers to his lips, pull out a singular key, and and say, Everyone touch the key. Uh, yep, okay, touch, touch the key. wouldn't even bat an eyelid. Yeah. Sure, touch the key. Okay. Trust, Don't. trust Arg wholeheartedly. Don't tell us, teleport us on a dodgy Arg. <laughs> you all touch the key? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. So you all touch the key. He'll say a command word with what you think, and it'll take you to an interplanar house. Wow. This guy. Trust's eyes are like really wide. She's looking out. Oh, wow. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Can you have to do that, Arg? Ah, uh, cool. <laughs> like, this is a. Uh, you can speak freely here. Where the hell is this? See, exactly. It's a big place. This is a handy, a handy home for those those of us who are in need of somewhere quiet to talk and safe to rest. 
Is everything real here? Everything is real. Everything exists. Everything is as it as it Where? seems to be. Where? Now, like kick a chair or something. I'm sure he's... Oh, I was about to say I, I would like to find some kind of <laughs> object and <poke laughs> yes, it. A feel if it's real. <clears throat> poke the thing. Like it's real. It's we are in uh, my own personal uh, dimension, inter, inter interdimensional plane. Um, you invite someone into the, your house and they start oh. kicking the chairs. There's ingratitude for you. Yes, I'd rather I'd rather you not mess around with the furniture. It's you don't know how long it took me to get everything set out like this. Um, right, down to business. How'd you fuck up, and why? Uh, he'll, he'll pull out the hammer and say, you know, originally this was quite a mighty warhammer, but um, uh. Yeah, I became friends with, I guess you could say, an evil god. He didn't seem <laughs> that evil to me. Talos. Talos. God of Storms. What's that? Um, Storm? Yeah, I mean... Huh? We gifted, yeah. we gifted you this. Well, it was part of your reward for... Well, he imbued it with some sort of magic. It gave me powers I've never had before. You know, the ability to call lightning... Uh, spark people lightning bolts. Take out whole groups of bandits with one lightning bolt. It's pretty sweet. That was pretty impressive. Mm. Um, but yeah, things got pretty bad, I guess, pretty quick. Um, and right. I had a dream. It wasn't a great dream. Um, we were at this coastal city, and all I could see is this big, big wave, this tsunami heading into the city. Um, and Talos said that this was my doing. That um, both of us together could cause storms all across the world and cause chaos. But I don't suppose anywhere has been hit by a tsunami. Well, not the saying tsunami in your very helpful message. Um, I did ask around, and the only place I didn't get a response was... Blib Dual Pool Port, which is based around the, which is a, uh, a stronghold in the middle of Kelimvor's Waste. It's the the last bastion of hope, the last presence of mortality in um, in the in the wastes, and it's now. No longer. I teleported there this morning myself before I came here, and it is underwater. How many people? How well, many people was, sent um, there? No, not particularly many. Um, it's usually meant as a, uh, a way station for for travelers. So you would you would you would enter from one end of the walls, and that would be the halfway point, and you would, they would drop off supplies and potentially swap guards or people who have felt it's their duty to, to handle the undead threat there. And it wasn't so, that many as a, as a people's, but they the were good people. Very much. And, so these, these are people. Value who... As a way station, probably like the amount of people who rely on it is probably quite high. It's yeah, not it just the waste. people who were in the city at the time. Indeed, we'll have to abandon the route through the wastes and um, have to either go the long way around or the more treacherous route through the ocean, which, if Talos is still throwing up more storms, could only get worse. Or we make the city, of course. Well, that's uh, it's a long-term solution, certainly. It makes a difference. I didn't know this was going to happen. I, I was just call, calling lightning around here and there, you know. I thought it might be a few lightning bolts here and there. But I didn't think it would be a tsunami. He kept that one secret. So, did you did you not do any common thinking what would happen if you just called lightning all the way through places where it's not normal to have lightning then? Is that... Did, I'm not, that I'm not, not a weatherman, cause, I don't know this. Isn't that not cause weird things to happen? Does, did not occur through your mind that this... if, if I, if I'm honest, might perhaps 
just want some form of payment for the power he was giving you? There's Everything no seemed pretty good. But... Free lunch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know that now. I mean, I just felt so powerful. I was just focused on that. I didn't really think about what the knock-on effect would be. What have you done? Have you thrown away your attachment to to the, such a thing? Not yet. Oh, I wanted to wait until I could get it. He's not going to play ball anymore. Well, I know as soon as he knows, I'm, I'm fucked. He's, he's going to come after me. So as long as there's a way to get rid of it that you know, I would have attached myself from it and tell us. Well, you can always leave it here. Talos can't get, can't, will find it mighty difficult to reach it here, I guess. Hmm. And no one else would come here to pick it up? Because really, nobody else should really get their hands on such a thing. Yeah. Can't let that happen. Who else has access to this demi-plane? Just me. The key holder. And I assume you'd have no reason to bring the lightning, as it were. Well, we'll he's the one we've turned to for help. If he does, we're already screwed. True, but you know, at least we can... Arg gives us our... If Arg was to give us our wor his word, I'd be inclined to believe him. You think I need a hammer to do that? Probably not. But still, it's always reassuring to hear it. <clears throat> what are you going to do? Hmm. You leave it here? Or are you going to try and do more foolish acts? No, no, no. I'm done with the axe. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll leave it here in your safe hands. Do you have a vault or something I could put in? Or Yes, we, um, there is a treasury here that you can, we can leave it here for. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so he'll... Lead you and anyone else who wishes to go to the treasury. Uh, so from from level one, it's this um, stairs down here mm -hmm. that leads to the treasury. Uh, Talara will be curious. She'll um, she'll go there as well. So go as well. Yeah, yeah, we've been invited. Why not? Yeah. Um, as you go in, um, it seems to be a just like. A, a tidy a hide like a tidy hide a hidey place for like material uh ob material objects that like wizards and and such would be willing to need for casting spells. So you see like some precious gems, some vials of red liquid, some some lots of scrolls dotted around everywhere, parts of gold again, lots of parchment ink, assaultedness um. Anything a a budding wizard would need to facilitate their 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 goals, um, and he takes you into the the main door, places his palm upon the the vault door, which it unlocks, opens it forward, and there's a there's a handy plinth that you can lay the hammer on. There's a few other like as you see like it is like one some. Magical armors, you think? There's like two statuesque armors with uh, necklaces around them, um, which you think might be like magic arm, magic armors of some kind. Um, oh. Yeah, lots of lots of lots of magical trinkets and and such that um, that's all my need. So I will say, put it wherever you want. So go anywhere from here. Certainly, very impressive uh, collection. Hey, you're bread man. You're rich as hell. Well, it's a um. Get you f what you get for being an arc mage. Yes, it's a um. 
it's the Archmage's gift. This this place is. When I am to leave this this mortal plane, I I'll leave it to the next Archmage, and it will be passed down from from then on. Do you ever use any of these trinkets? Just leave them lying about. Um. Well, my my staff um, came from here. It's um it's usually customary for the archmage to choose choose a gift left behind from the previous archmages to to use as their um, as their focus and as their as their guide through through their studies and duties as archmage. The uh. The capital, the capital priest of, of Azuth also has a similar um, dim plane like this as well, if any of you are interested. Certainly quite a useful thing to have. Makes it a lot harder because they would have come nicking your ship. Mm. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Yes. I need you got any more of those keys? Maybe? Lying around somewhere? <laughs> Wouldn't be very secure if you did, would it? Well, you bought a magic key, Krusk? Yeah. Yeah, why don't you try it? <laughs> <laughs> Not here, the uh, uh, one per archmage thing I just said. Okay. I'm just saying, this seems to be a very special key. Krusk, tell him where you got it and how special it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Isn't This is a magical key that my fellows have taunted me for. But you can tell it's magical, right? <laughs> <laughs> you tell my friends I'm cool. <laughs> yes, Krusk, your key is very special. Krusk gives like a really smug look at everyone else. <laughs> yeah, locks the door, like all keys do. <laughs> that didn't sound very special. It's going to unlock any door, potentially. As I said, Krusk, every key technically opens any a door. Could be any door. Could open any door in the world. It will only open one. Hypothetically. <laughs> any door in the world. And once it's or opened, lock. once it's opened, someone else can lock it again, and then you're still screwed. <laughs> well, then I have to get another key. I suppose. <laughs> but it might That's not. Open. But then work. that. But then that new key might not open that door. Yeah. So then you're stuck again. Oh, sweet Jesus. Sweet. It's a vicious sweet. cycle, Crusk. It's a vicious, vicious cycle. I'm uh, pretty sure once, once you unlock it with that yeah. one key, it stays to that one door. Oh, does, ah. it, oh, does huh? the key not disappear? No, I, I believe it stays uh, working on that door. But only you that mean door. like a regular key? <laughs> yes, but I think the point is it's a magic one. Like it might fit any lock. It doesn't have, like it's not specific. But then don't they just change the door? Or the until it works, and then it is specific. See, if someone had a magic key that opened one of my doors, I would just change the door. Oh, yeah, oh, but the you time you find out, find out they've been there first, haven't you? Oh. Yeah, you wouldn't find out until they've used it, and then yeah, could be too late. Nobody, they're, they're off. That's true. You're dead. I suppose that's true. Are you planning on robbing someone, Krask? <laughs> No, no, but um, if one of you were to be captured, then the first thing I would do is try the key on your door. It probably <laughs> You're a great won't friend. work, but thank you so much. Oh, this is reassuring, I suppose. Yes. Oh, like, how does someone become the Archmage? <laughs> I want my own item. <laughs> you want your own, little, your own little thingy. Oh, it's quite cosy. And I imagine the Archmage you... has got a lot of influence. It just gives you like a pained look and go, <laughs> it's not going to be you. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Savage. You're the wrong god. Oh, well, I'm sort of aligned with Istra at the moment. I think the problem probably is, Krask, that your powers of magic haven't really come from learning and knowledge and that kind of thing. Are I, I think that's how you're meant to become the Archmage of Azuth City, you know, Wizard City. You no, natural Krusk. It's not. Are you a wizard, Krusk? I can cast magic. <laughs> that's not the same thing! I've cast magic before, Krusk! I'm not about as far from a freaking wizard as you can get! Can Turi just do dancing lights and just be like, I can cast magic? 
I'm definitely not a wizard. Yes, technically, Crush, you're a sorcerer, not a, not a wizard. I didn't go to school. I don't, I don't know all this stuff. That's think, how come we think, know you're not think, a wizard, Crush? I, I, I think that's part of the problem, Crush. <laughs> 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 you know, this, you know, Zooth, God of Knowledge, I think requires you to, you know, ed educate. Everything. You know, yeah. yes. Yes. I mean, in a way, I'm in the same position, Crush. I wouldn't feel too bad. My newfound powers were bestowed on me. So. Mm, we have we are the same, you and I. No, mm. Exactly the same. No. <laughs> <laughs> mm, stretching it slightly, Krusk, but okay. Krusk is just going to go up to um, Flurry and like, put her hands on her. Is it... the same. Uh, she just pulls her hands <laughs> like immediately away. <laughs> yes, but next time without the touching crusk, you can you, you can talk with your mouth, not with your hands. Sorry. Yeah. What do you want the power for? I can do with it. Well, help me help me in combat. Help the JC yeah. in combat, you mean? No, him. Oh, 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 oh yeah, both, both, yeah. Okay, right. But why are you fighting? For shits and giggles, or... Is there something you want to do with that? To become the best fighter in all the world. I want to achieve the highest states of glory. If there's gold with it, so be it. I'll take any gold right. I can get. Okay. And then, then what? When you are the most acclaimed fighter in all the land, then what? I haven't really thought that far. Bend my riches. Right. Go to okay. any brothel then, I can. Okay, when, you, when you're the most acclaimed fighter in all the land, and you have a grand palace, I don't know, and all the, all, all the warhammers you could ever want, then what? Don't know. I guess I'll be complete then. There's nothing wrong with being content with your life. You don't always need to strive mm. to do something. Sometimes you can just be happy being. As soon as I have, as soon as my child is returned to me, I just plan on being. I don't plan on having any grand schemes. You don't need to. I feel like everyone's working towards something in their life. You know, a main goal. Once you hit it, mm. life life complete. I mean, I'm not. I'm not young. I'm getting old. How old are you, Farley? Um, five hundred, isn't he? Yeah, like three hundred or something. Is he? Well, he's, sorry, he's he's old. He's the oldest out of all of us. Uh, one hundred and fifty-four. Yeah. But that's oh, kind no. of old looking towards. I'm the so oldest out of all of us. Well, he's the oldest with experience. He's the oldest with experience. In, in relative yeah. terms, he's the oldest. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure enough, yeah. Yeah. How 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 long does the dwarf live? It's just, it's probably just, in like middle age or just having a look. I don't know. Dwarves live to three hundred and fifty. No, you're yeah. you're kind of like my age, but like for a dwarf. He's only like <laughs> middle aged, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's like, middle aged. Oh, he's, middle -aged. Right. So he's 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 early thirties. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. early thirties. Yeah. Early to mid thirties. But, but then you don't see many like old people fighting mm. at that stage. You know, I want to get to hitting his warriors prime. Yeah, plus I'm a dwarf yeah. and a short guy, like, <laughs> we get old and, and we're short, like, we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because how, how, how old's Turi? Turi is like 200. Did I actually write it down? I feel like I probably would have. 220 something, right? Okay. 200, yeah, because 223. So yeah, you're relative, relatively young then, because uh, they're yeah, 7, like 750. 20s. So, hmm. yeah. Nadia's 19. Oh, wow. Technically, probably the youngest. On of us. on on scale of like similarity, for an elf, I'm only a little older than you. Yeah. Nevertheless, I still think I am youngest in the party. I think so. Yeah, yeah. You, you are. You are. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Nadia's only nineteen. No, Krask is fourteen. <laughs> See, I'm t yeah, Talari's twenty-five. Krask is pretty young, but I don't know if I put an, like an actual number on it. I've always seen him 20. as like. Early twenties, you know. Yeah, because yeah. half orcs re reach maturity much sooner than a lot of the other races. Half orcs re mm. reach maturity about fourteen. Yeah. Also, um, he had 
enough time to like grow up originally with orcs, grow up mm. then the rest of it with humans and be a slave for a bit. So yeah, yeah, because yeah. they they true. they they live until seventy five, so relatively sort of similar to humans, oh. really. It's a bit less than humans, isn't it? A little, a little bit, yeah. So humans in in this are about eighty. Oh, so, okay. so only just less. But that's less. just like a max, not a. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's yeah, give or take, isn't it? Life expectancy. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you are an adventurer after all, so I can't imagine you'd get to seven. <laughs> yeah, and your crask. And well, yes, yeah, so you well, technically, <laughs> technically, technically, you've died twice. Right. So you know, yeah. you, died, you know, you're in you're in extra died. time at the moment. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, think that's yeah. part of your trouble, given that this is what the third time you've you've had trouble with a god giving you power because it was good and it was power and you felt powerful. And everything was great until everything wasn't great anymore. I'm sure this was the second time because wasn't the first one the second luck time, one? Second time, that's still one time too many. Yeah. Uh, you know, I got br- I got pretty far. Things were going well. <laughs> yeah, but remember <laughs> so... that which one was it? Like the one you actually you cursed that guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, but he I mean, was the stealing luck. Guy. Cursed, yes. The stealing luck. Can... I I hardly knew him. He just joined the party. He <laughs> he was gone then. Like. You cursed? I forgot. Uh, the guy that we're in the uh, Elias or something. Elias. Undead city. Elias. Elias. Oh, yeah. the paladin dude. Yes, yeah, yeah, the one. Yeah. The one where Great. we took all, the ghost. The ghost town where he stayed in. You know. Oh uh, yeah, my the town. One, yeah. You mean, wasn't it? And the oh, no, uh, the guy in the village as well. Yeah, uh, it yeah. was um Lera, Lera. No. Yeah. Yeah. I, I forgot. Oh, oh. it was that hold box. You, you I, I cursed the blacksmith. Sense. It was pretty bad, Krask. Yeah. We learned a lot of things about your family there. Yes. Like yeah. shivers. <laughs> he, did, he has like died twice between then and now, so That's you can, true. You can give him some time. My point is, my point is, Thorin, that this is the second time that you have palled up with an evil god because it sounded like a good idea at the time, and now you are regretting the choices you have made. They, they, they always just seem more powerful to me. Maybe but I haven't met the right one. Maybe you just need like a strict interview process. You know. like, mm. The point is that if you haven't got anything to to hang on to, you're going to keep having this problem. Because I mean... like I say, this is the second time going around this ridiculous circus. Mm. I don't want time number three. I mean, I suppose you could always try a combat-focused god who's not so evil. I'm sure they exist. can't really think of any off the top of my head. But I'm sure there are some good or even... I mean, Kalimvor is neutral. I mean, neutral's not so bad. It's not so good either. But, you know, mm. it's, it's, it's neutral. It's in the middle. And neutral probably suits you better than, than evil anyway. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too fast whether evil or good is it's more just what they can offer me. The problem is... Right. The problem is, sorry, is, what they, is what you offer them. Unknowingly, a lot of the time. Mm. Also... Also, also, right, the evil ones, because generalising massively here, they are evil, oh, are quite happy to, to mislead you, or at least more happy, usually, to mislead you in order to get what they want. They will give you something great so that you don't question why you are having to do whatever it is they wanting you to do. Somebody who isn't so evil is less likely to go, haha, hey Thoradin, look at this shiny thing over here. And she's making big hand gestures and like shaking her hand. Look at this shiny thing over here. So you don't see whatever's creeping up behind you because they're less likely to want to do you over. I suppose if they So keeping... of course it looks like a better deal. That's because there is a fucking poison hidden in the cake. They want you to eat the cake. It wouldn't work if they poisoned a turnip. You'd just go, no thanks. I suppose as well. I mean, if you are, if if a evil god is hiding something from you, then you must not be very well aligned to that person. I mean, in theory, if you were an evil person, and you were with an evil god, they wouldn't need to lie. I mean, if an an evil person was aligned to Talos, and Talos said, "Oh, I know." Let's go Let's destroy go a city. Let's storms everywhere. That sounds like fine. a great idea, they'd guys. Be, they'd, they'd be like, be... yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah. 
but since I mean that's a good thing on your part, Thorin. It means you are a good person under all that yeah, hair, he's not muscle, and evil. tattoos. He's just completely <clears throat> daft. I mean, I do have a code, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, once shit gets sideways like that and it gets you know properly evil, and I'm part of it, and yeah, mm -hmm. that's where I go. But normally, I've never really cared about what the gods want to do. I think next. I've just time. tried to take but, from them. Uh, right, right. At this point, sorry, the gods care about you. You've got to start thinking about it. Mm. Just a matter of asking upfront questions, Thorin. If you feel they're hiding things from you, then maybe that's not the right, the right fit. And you After... don't have to say yes. Indeed, I've said no to plenty. Most of them evil. Mm. Remember, they can't get to you as much as they think they want you to think they can. After yeah, all, how many true. how many gods are trying to kill us? I have seen nobody around. You'd think if they were as powerful. Was that demon? Oh, don't there say was, that. There was that oh, demon. Yeah. Don't, don't well, say that. That's it's, a total it's, jinx. It's, it's, yeah, but they, they can't hear us from here, Teresa. Now is the night perfect time to say it. So it's can't fine. say? Well, <laughs> I feel like well, this if we may keep, be protected if we... in some way, but come on. I mean, we've, this we've is just still put a the... plane somewhere, among well, we... some place. <laughs> Well, but surely. Well, no, because the we just can touch. Well, yeah, but we just left the hammer downstairs. So I assume if we've left the hammer downstairs, it can't it's be accessible. So if any, if you're gonna jinx anything, you know, once what state, it. what what you say in the demi plane stays in the demi plane, I suppose. <laughs> Screw you, gods! <laughs> <laughs> Come get me here. <laughs> I mean, yes, okay, that's a bit extreme. They can't, they but also, yes. though, but though she is right, they can't get you as much as they want you to think they can. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. need to have a long think about who I'd side with next time. You don't have to side with anybody. So that's that's true. true. Mm. You could remain in. The, you could be your own god, Thorin. You can remain in Don't tell him <laughs> that. Well, I kind of already am. Give him ideas. Yeah. I already, I already think of myself He's as a god. He's already got all the ideas. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Too hard. Yeah. People already chart my name across the land. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard that, though. Did. Never, never. No. Wait, wait. The, only time, the time? only time, the only time I ever heard anyone call out your name, Thoradin, from afar is when they were taking the piss out of you because they beat no, you No, no, no. Remember that late woman? I can't, I can't remember her name. Oh no, it's Ballstein. Fuck. Um, it, <laughs> I thought someone was chanting Thorin's name at some point. I think, dream, I think maybe. I think, I think that was yeah, a dream. probably a dream. Dreaming Thorin. Sounds like Bashaba's dream. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was another dwarf. <laughs> maybe it was a reflection. Just <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> me saying it to myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's up to you, Thorin, at the end of the day, what you decide to do. But uh, I think. Um, Maybe stay away from the evil gods. I don't think they stay work for you. Stay away from the evil gods. And and if somebody offers you something that's too good to be true, don't take them up on it. If it's for like a little thing. Did you never get told like cautionary stories as a kid? If somebody offers you something for a little favour later, you say no and you leave. And when you're outside, you fucking book it because they are trying to do you over. That's how... That's how come the face deal children, you know. I normally take their shit and run, and then <laughs> I'm out. That doesn't make Can't sense. Me. You, you were friends with you're friends with Guile after all. Yeah, yeah. Actually, now people that, that think... tried to screw us over, we screw them over. Now that I think about it, I wonder if that's how you became friends with Guile. <laughs> yeah. What, he <laughs> take your shit and run. Well, probably more that Guile, you know, funny words, you know, drew drew Thoridin in, and then once he was mm. in, you know. Maybe. I don't know. He's good well, at that. that seems do. like something that practically anybody can do, so... Well, you know, it's a learning experience, isn't it? Thoradin will... You know, I'm sure Thoradin learns as he grows, and like we all do. Learn from our mistakes, yeah. In indeed, indeed, you know. That is, this time. That at, least with the, at, least, at least with the second god, he wasn't stealing anything from anybody. He was just destroying things. At least now, he's can, the next one, you can not steal and not necessarily destroy. So we, you know, it's, I was about to say, is destroying less than stealing? I, it's a bit of a... It's a bit well, of technically, a, I killed like the whole city. It's, 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 exactly. Yeah, I feel yeah, like that's... Like, that's like, I, I think that's pretty worse. It's, you know, it's really. a lot bigger this time. Yes, it's, 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 it's more, you know, evil adjacent or, you know, stealing adjacent. It's, like, it's the same, but it's not... 
in the same category. We, we're crossing things off the list, you know. Mm. I feel. Oh, that's I feel. true. I suppose. General and you know, or... Tui has got murder covered. Like you know, we've done the murder thing. You know that we've we've okay. crossed okay. that one. Okay, okay, Come on. You know, <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying, like you know, I you, guess don't... It, but, you know, we don't need to bring it up every I'm just... five minutes. <laughs> I didn't bring it up. Anyway, it's, it's you know you can yeah. you can always learn from really, other you people's mistakes. Up right now. I did, but that wasn't five minutes ago. That was just now. But. I'm just, I'm just trying to say we can also learn from other people's mistakes, not just ours, and it, you know, get, gets things crossed off the list much faster. You see, you see. That's You're true. Like good mum to like. <laughs> All of us now You're know like not to trust. To people who are daft, <laughs> <Like, down> <laughs> Oh dear. Um. But yes, so, so it's up to you, Thoradin. Try not to kill anybody. You know, or steal anything. Only if they're evil. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. And you know, they are they can't be redeemed, you know, motioning over to Turi. You know, Thank you. They can't mm. be redeemed. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yes, yes. You know. Or, you know, pointing over to Nadia, they're they're an ass hat or, or something like that, you know. It's 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 Wait, you calling me an ass no, hat? No, no, saying no. I kill people because they're ass hats. That, that one, yeah. mostly more than yeah, so the Mostly one. I kill people because they're running out trying to kill me. You, you know? Yes, yes, which makes them makes them ass like, hat. It generally makes them pretty objectionable in the moment, but I'm not making personal judgments at that point. I just don't want to get stabbed. I'm I'm just just want to put that out there. So there you go. So stabbing you or and can't be redeemed. Self defense. Yes. Yeah. Can't be redeemed. If you can avoid killing them, Back so they have a chance to redeem, yes, yes. you know, just putting it out there, huge favour like, to me, would like be great. Like you did last time, yep. Might be nice. But you know, I understand, I can't control all of you. Can't control you all have your own choices. Them, or whatever you want to do. And you know, I'm sure there'll be time where you'll need to just outright kill things, like the dragons, you know? I mean, it, we, it happens, you know? It, it happens, yes. With, with... <laughs> uh, it happens, yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, as, we, as, as mentioned before, we have a long list of people that are trying to kill us. You know? That's true. Most so. of them are gods at this point, which mm. is not particularly, you know. Yeah, you're already a god, uh, dragon slayer, so you know it's kind of the next That's step. Very up, true. I think. Cross, is that? Cross, not cross. Uh, Arg, is there anywhere we can borrow this key and just kind of pop back here whenever you want? Do you have a? Do you have a... He's gonna let us do that, Terry. Do you, do you have a? Do you have a spare key? Terry's well, hiding a... out from how many evil gods is it at this point? Want your head? Why, what a great idea it would be for me to lend you my key to my own personal interplanar dimension for me to Thank you. I really don't need it. That sounds like a great deal, doesn't it? It does, actually. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. I will give you this hammer. Three... Magical item and the very hammer you want to get rid of. Well, you could just put that behind a locked door, I guess, and just hope that Krusk's key won't open it. <laughs> there is a chance. <laughs> I think you should just try it. <laughs> can, you imagine, can you imagine he just does it to the door next to him? It's just that's all, you know. No, it's forever that door that you can't yeah. ever access again, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I'll be. Tell you what, I will make you one just like this if you pay me a million gold. Pick IOUs or what? Something You'd like never that. need that. What? <laughs> You'd never need a million gold. You just not sit in your the vault. Point. I mean, I could try and steal a million gold. I, I think... don't think we got. No, 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 no stealing. That's it. That's no. Stealing. That was one of the... We've we've crossed that off the list already. We've crossed it off the list. What's the um? <laughs> what's the equivalent of like a millionaire in this? Is it a literal like? Will some of you walk around with like a million gold? Or will it? People with a lot of platinum. Yeah, mm -hmm. asset, assets really. It has to be like houses and yeah. things yeah. like this, magical items. Okay. Like, like the... it's in the real world. Mm. Mm. So, what was it? Like 
is it a gold a day for like wealthy living? So you'd have to be comfortably, so you'd have to have at least 400 gold a year to live wealthily, just eating, living, sleeping, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's five gold a day. Oh, it may be. Yeah, five gold a day is a long way off millions. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, but yeah. That, that's, that's yearly. So mm. 2,000 so gold under. Take yearly, yeah. then you want to do it the rest of your life. So mm. how much is your lump sum? Mm. Quite a lot. Oh, no, not as much as you think. 146,000 gold. No, no. Be fair, a million then you want million. spending money, Hass. <laughs> mm. And so magic items do. are not cheap. That's just to maintain your lifestyle. It's not including all the magic items you wish to buy, mm -hmm. the magic oh, protection, okay. the people you want to hire to protect yeah. you now that you're yeah. worth all that money. Servants, um, butlers, cooks, cleaners. Gambling money. Yeah, gambling, yeah, gambling exactly. money. Gambling money. Yeah. You know, buying stuff off the black market. Money. Yeah. Mm. Leisure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so Peter Man borrowed in. I'm sure you've, you know, man of your wealth has has that kind of money lying around, under pillows, in shoes, whatever, whatever people do. You say me? Yeah. Surely, surely you've accumulated that in a hundred years, Brian. Yeah. I mean, what, what were you doing? Considering, considering how much of a miser. It's, of course not. <laughs> what the hell? Considering how much of a miser you are, I figured you'd just have, just have it somewhere. No? I'm not made of gold. I have to spend Thorin, it. Thorin, if, if if you had a, if you had any wishes, I would imagine you would wish to be made out of gold. Mm. But uh, I he guess... would as well, and then he'd be surprised when he was stuck as a bloody gold statue. I'd be a lean. That'd be a lean, mean right hook. Yeah, <laughs> made out of solid gold. gold. You wouldn't be able anymore. to move. You wouldn't be alive. You'd be dead. Well, you know, we'd be assuming it would be mm. immovable. You know. Oh, no, well, you didn't specify that, did you? Yeah, I was well, going I, to I, say, gold fuck with the wishes. I thought, yeah, well, it's tr that's true, I suppose. Yes. I can be arranged if you really wish. <laughs> I think we've been... No, no, no. I'm happy no. to turn you to gold right now, just to get the bloody hell rid of you. We'd make a nice statue in the vault. Hmm. Hmm. There you go. Um, I'm a good specimen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, it'd, be a, it'd be a warning to all of the archmages be careful what you wish for. Wish for. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, my mum contented with telling me, you know, like bedtime stories, but. Loredan wants to be a no longer living example. No, I don't actually wish that. Oh, that was... Now you've had time to think about it, yeah. No. I mean, it makes sense, really. Wouldn't be able to Made swim. my own statue myself, but. Oh, I wouldn't doubt that. In, in your mansion, just statues of you everywhere. Mm. You know, various battle poses and I don't yeah. know uh, heads everywhere. Mm. You seem dragon to have, heads. You know, it's funny. The more the more I read this book of Hole, it kind of reminds me of you, Thoradin. I think you're very much aligned <laughs> with this man. He is a great bloke. Yeah, should we make a book of Thoradin? That would sell like anything. <laughs> <laughs> you make you make your money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Right, right, so we've got we've got Shall rid of this. We leave? Yes, we've got rid of this. I hammer. think we've imposed on Arg's good temper long enough. Uh, I have a question for Arg actually, before we go. Um Arg, I understand that Froden's done something uh not great. Is there any is there gonna be any kind of like legal repercussion? Like he's not liable <laughs> for for the He's, now he's it. I've told you this in confidence, Arg. Don't you know? <laughs> don't don't come after me. Just just checking that you know we're not going to get. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> is there any, is there any legal issues with handing you a magic item weapon that's been imbued by a evil god? Is is, yeah, is that a legal gonna, problem? Is this going to come back to bite us? You're not going to back it's, us, Thorin. It's all off the books, right? <laughs> I'll count as a strike. <laughs> <laughs> How many strikes am I allowed? <laughs> yeah. Three. Three, okay, okay. How many and strikes has he had? <laughs> That's probably on his second, though. Third. Oh, oh, what was the first one? <laughs> what was the first one? <laughs> we'll see. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Well, based off unknown past behaviors and. Um, the fact you cursed that guy. And obvious, clear, iris, iris, irresponsible decision making. Doesn't know about that. You're on two straight. Um, but in terms of your hammer, um, I believe uh, once um, 
you relinquish your hold or connection to Talos, it should revert back to its previous form, but I can't guarantee that. I'll try that right now, Matt. Is that something I'd have to do overnight? You can do it now if you wanted to. Well, yeah. I can't do it now uh, because um... I can't hear him in here. You just add a tuning, oh, okay. though. You, you just add a tuning, though, surely. Yeah, you just do that, don't you? Oh, well, yeah, well, I'll try because yeah. it's uh, it's kind of safe here. But... Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, I'll give it a go. So you willingly break your connection to the hammer and to Talos. Mm hmm. Okay. We'll go. You know... He'll be fine here. We'll get back to the inn. He'll be struck by fucking lightning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we'll just um... go back in a thunderstorm. You don't yeah. feel any different. Um. But if you guys go back and check on the hammer in the vault, it does look back how it used to look. So instead of it being on both sides, um, having the three pronged lightning bolts of Talos, on one side it's got um, an eye. It's got one one of its is, is um, oh, names, um, terrible names. Um, oh, oh no. Orcus. Yeah, you think the same. Orc no, not Orcus. <laughs> Og Ogmas. I was thinking Ogmas. Um, yeah, that's not it, is it? It's not Ogmas. Uh, it's it's it, it begins with O. It's an O. <laughs> it's an O uh, name. Uh, oh god, I don't know. It's the Orc god. The Orc Grumsh. There we go. Grumsh. So the symbol that's not no. that does have an O in it. <laughs> One side one side is an unblinking eye and the other side is three pronged lightning bolts. Um, I'd be quite worried. Are you telling me now he's gonna say that you could have done that at any point? The the, the 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 issue we were concerned about was that it would somehow aggravate and I don't know, Talos would attack through the Hammer or... Yeah. You know, yeah. That was that was the main kind of reason for trying to dispose of this thing safely. Oh my. Yeah. The yeah. question is, can Thornton reattune to it without it becoming all I don't know. It depends. Can, does a god's hold of a weapon truly get relinquished? Do you want to take that risk? Well, personally no. I don't. If yeah, we've gone to all this trouble and troubled you and all the rest of it. No. But you got a new weapon now, Thoradin. If the hammer, you've got a great mm. sword. It's all good. Yeah. It was a great hammer. Was a war now hammer. you have a great sword. So it's fine. Thoradin's just going to wave goodbye to the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I have another thing to ask. me well. Before we leave. <laughs> yeah, um, ask, ask. I'd, I'd like to report a crime. Mm. Somebody made a threat against my life. And he was magical, so that's something. Oh we shit! Deal with, right? He's been threatening this, you now, um, Is this something to do? Is this of anything to do with the certain necromants who broke out from Moradin City? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything about it. It's your own but, fault. But, oh. Wow! <laughs> it's against the law what he does. I count no. as I count as your first strike. Wow. wow. Um, what part of you thinks that Arg is somehow, like, the law in all of the land right now? He's the oh, Archmage of Azuth City, sure, but the, you're treating him as this, if this he's judge, jury, and executioner everywhere. I just have a lot of respect for Arg. Crash shoots him like a side <laughs> You're trying to get yourself out of trouble, is what it is. I just have a lot of respect for Arg. And his ability to uphold the law. And I would you want to do the right thing by reporting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, surely you would have been better off <clears throat> contacting Bahamut. Mm -hmm. You would have been. Yeah. Bahamut? Yes, yeah, he's the god of justice now. He's the god of justice oh, now. I don't want to bother a god with with these little things. Oh, 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 but you can bother Arg with little things. <laughs> oh. Seriously, shut up, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you kind of dug yourself a hole in that with that one, Krusk. He always does. Every time he opens his damn mouth. It's okay, Arg. I hope I don't die. That would be a horrible thing to have on your conscience. 
I don't think he's going to go. I'm going to lose so much sleep over that comment. Oh, no. <laughs> and with that, he'll slam his stuff to the ground and you'll, like, poof back oh, into we've been the kicked game. out. And you'll, oh, and, you'll, wow. and you'll poof back into um, Talari's room. Is Arg also poofed into the room? Is he come back with us? He, he is. He came back with you. And then he'll then say goodbye. And then he'll teleport away. Bye, Arg. Well, I suppose that at least sorts the hammer problem out. At least. Yep. So I wouldn't be struck by lightning yet. Uh, you do hear, as soon as you're in the normal normal plane, you do hear the sound of a thunderstorm and rain outside. They're going to have nice nice mud for their, for their battle royale. <laughs> I'm to be happier. Protect me, guys. <laughs> I don't know. What do you all think this is about it? You <laughs> all meant idiots. to protect you. And if he, kill, if he, kill, if he kills me, pointed away. you do realize, you do realize, Thoradin, you're the person who takes the least amount of impact from lightning. In theory, you should be protecting us from the thunderstorm. You still have that, or is that a, a Talos thing? The resistance. Uh, no, it's my trait thing. Uh, my okay. subclass, Thormora. Nice. We can set up um, like a lightning pole. I forgot what they're called. That can dart the lightning away. Lightning rod. That's it. <laughs> banked on the nose. Oh yeah, I'm not immune. I'm resistant. It's still going to take damage. <laughs> but that's just not. I mean, like we would, we would, you know, we would, we would take all the brunt of that. At least you, you know, you, you, I don't know what you do. Absorb it or I don't know. Into my pecs. In... <laughs> 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 Do you hear anywhere else? Is it just just into your pecs? <laughs> yeah, you just see these like instead of veins, it's just like these lightning. <laughs> That's 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 horrifying. But uh, <laughs> looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you should you should be protecting us. But uh, at least I suppose I don't know if we're really any safer in here or out there. But uh, yes, hopefully hopefully that's just a coincidence and not. Uh... I think it is you though. If we all have nightmares tonight, I'm kind of kicking you out of the fucking bed, <laughs> Thorogen, and possibly down the stair also. I might need the company. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <sighs> I'll keep you company. Wait. Thank really you. Here? Protect me. <laughs> oh, Prance, needs... I can watch him. Oh, oh god. Yeah, <laughs> so I needs a strong person to hold his hand so the thunder does not frighten him. And I can backslap him <laughs> if he tries to dog with any more evil gods. <laughs> That's true, you can uh, cl clip around the ear every 30 minutes. If if I hear him murmuring in a dream like, oh, evil god, sounds like a great deal. <laughs> Give me all your power. We can agree. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Give yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me the power. Yeah, whenever he says that, that's it. That's when you got to kick yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, if he says that, you're already too late. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'll, I'll listen to the murmuring, see if there's any chatter. Mm. Mm. Oh or you wake him up, scream at him until he decides to go back on it. And, you know, everyone in the inn gets woken up. It's okay, save one mind. <laughs> they might, you know. I'm sure they've heard a lot of screaming before. If if Talari just uh, casts silence on, like, everyone else, so they won't hear us, it's fine. I mean, I could just cast silence on Thoradin. Specifically. But if you do that, then he won't hear me shouting at him not to do the thing. Ah, yes. Mm. I suppose so. Mm. I don't think silence works that way, though. Okay. Anything and everything inside the silence can't... Mm -hmm. <laughs> doesn't... can't hear anything. Yeah, you'd have to cast it on all, like, the other bedrooms. Yeah, you'd have to do it on the people that are sleeping, I can not only, on us. I can only do this, like, once at a time. Like, it's not, like, something I can just... You know, just keep, keep Oh, well, that goes with that idea, then. But, uh, you know, food for thought, I suppose. Worth a shot, I guess. Hmm. Right, does anyone else want dinner? I'm starving. Yes. Yes, all this... I am feeling rather peckish. All this teleporting around, it's... It's... it's you know... Just, just, just... Makes me hungry. Yeah. Okay, um... So, as you guys, um... Clamber on downstairs. Um, do any of you purchase any more rooms? Or... Yeah. Damn right, Talaris will let you stay. 
Do, do the usual staying in an inn routine, I guess. Okay, so fire silver from anyone who wants to buy a room. I'll and... purchase them with Thoradin. Yeah. I can pay for it. You got the last one, I Thank think. You. Uh, and you set yourself down to some well-deserved food. Um, as per usual, it's not too bad. It's just it's a little salty. Which, after <laughs> the blandness of Talari's um, create food and water, it is oh God, a downside better <laughs> than the bland. So you're you're saying it's a quiet quiet thanks is a saltier food than bland. Um, but Matt, what uh, kind of day is it? Um, it's around like uh, like midday ish. Okay, it's lunchtime. Cool. So yeah, it's time time for food. Yep, definitely. Yeah, you could um, yeah, because where you stopped the previous night. Um, so you came in, spent the rest, and then sorted all your all your bits and pieces out with uh, all the other caravaneers. Yep, yep. So um, what you hear in and around the tavern while you have your your lunch um. Is that there's a quiet fear that there's not enough healers uh, for Tokagaka. Mm -hmm. And the city was willing to pay around a thousand gold to be on a hand for the night if a healer is able to cast, prove that they can cast the Revify spell. Uh, uh, only Revify. Oh, that's no. what that's what they'll pay a thousand oh, gold. For. Oh, okay. Um, anyone able to cast lesser healing, oh. so non um uh, being offered around two hundred and fifty gold to lend aid for for the evening. Um, in terms of outer travel, outer news from outside the city, the, um, some demons and undead have been spotted attacking some caravans in the desert between Hugit Village and Kalm Encampment. While even while even though there's been an increased patrol of uh, mercenaries from Helm Encampment, the general feeling from all like the people from Hugo Village is that they're unblooded. They're they're just like fresh recruits off out of the um out of training and don't know any better. So sort of they're basically just worthless as guards. Um it's called accord according to the people of Hugo Village at least. And... Who may or may not be somewhat biased. <laughs> well, who's to say? Um, and uh, yeah, the, 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 they smell of clean and, and like very fresh recruits. Is what the the general overriding pre the feeling you get from the people of Hugo Village. Um, and even while you're walking around in in the morning, um, and in sometimes in and out of the the inn, you see priests from Timora Town. The priest following Timora, the the goddess of good good fortune, offering um, good luck, promises and favors for generous donators, as well as offering good luck on for travelers passing through to to try and avoid some of the bad 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 stuff. Um, they're they're they are trying to like encourage very 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 generous donations. So. Anything more than like a more than a gold, more than ten gold, perhaps, to try and um, as what they say to try and drive Timurus' attention to them rather than uh, to anyone else. Not enough gold and... attentions, I think. We don't need don't need more. <laughs> no, yeah. Well. Let's, let's <laughs> so... stay clear of that. Hey, hey, hey! At least they're asking us to spend the gold, so Thoradin will steer clear of that. That's true. Mm. Yeah. They... <laughs> They're saying a, go a copper to the lady returns tenfold in gold. Is the is the prayer that is said once a donation is given. Hmm. I'm a gambler. <laughs> the um, they're they they're, they're, they're trying to like put put up the the fact if Tom Orley is interested in you, Shaba might try and throw her misfortune misfortune at you, and <laughs> you might get even badly worse luck than if you didn't donate at all. Wow. If you didn't donate too much, did, did, if you didn't donate enough, sorry, not too much, if you didn't donate enough, then Tamara could lose her interest and the Shava might find her her interests with you and throw her misfortune at you instead. Yeah, it's funny right, how that, right. yeah, funny how that works. Funny how that works, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, I guess that's the general overriding news. I don't suppose we were going to entertain this uh, healing business. We're just going to go on no. our way. Oh, a thousand gold is. Oh. They only can prove they can cast Revivify. Prove oh. it, you waste one of our diamonds. I'm not wasting one of our diamonds, no. Exactly, so let's just go. But you get paid three I times don't the diamond. Don't. No, they're offering diamonds if you can prove it. Ah, even better. Yeah, they'll okay. the diamond. Look, look, look. This is a town that's about to become a battleground. We all have violent tendencies. I think it's probably best that we leave. <laughs> Talari, yeah, come on, you shocked I, those people. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I've changed <laughs> since then. Was, I couldn't even do this. Violent bad. by <laughs> proxy, and, given who you hang out with. Well, I mean, if anything, I'm the opposite of violent tendencies. I'm more. You're, I'm the cleanup from your violent tendencies. You're the least violent. But you still, you still shocked won. those two guards. That was a long time different... ago. That was like <laughs> it was that... pretty bad. That's like that so was you shot like, that, like months ago. Divine weapon or whatever the fuck that you bring out and bash people over yeah, the head you with. You brought out so like you... a massive axe thing and just. I've already done that a couple of times. <laughs> so you still did it. There was self defense. Yeah, Violet. they had it coming. They yeah, weren't redeemable. Go. Don't even get me started <laughs> on you. <laughs> <laughs> they had to go. <laughs> they had to go, blood. They had to go. <laughs> Look, my point is, I don't want to stick around for a battle that we do not need to get involved with. We shouldn't get involved with. It is none of our business. We should just leave soon. To be fair, I'd rather not stick in one place for too long. Given, you know, interested parties. But, we yes, say? we've got mm. too, too many things to worry about right now. Yeah. That is true. Mm, and yes. we have to get them to a place and hopefully we get the other do. things as well. There's too much on our plate. That's fair enough. Yeah. Makes sense. Just wanted to um, say for Team Correct, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, it will happen again in a year's time or however often it happens. We'll come back at a later date, okay? Sure, we'll find out who won. You know, you know how the news is. We'll find out. Yeah, very true. If you ask around, uh, ask around. Mm -hmm. Do we come down to? There's got to be a. There's got to be a very impressive sparring grounds in this place. Do we come down to the sparring grounds with me, Terry? Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, you should probably let off some steam as well because I'm sure you're very upset about your hammer. Hmm. And we also need to kick the shit out of you for being such an asshole. So let's go. <laughs> no, it's gonna be the other, uh, other way around. Are those two things correlated? Sure is. is that relating to the same thing, or are these two independent events? I... Are you, is it is it because I mean, of the hammer situation? I'm or just it... a punching bag for Terry. General, you know. I do... At least she's got a use for you. At least she's got yeah. a use for you. I probably didn't. I know you like it. It's physical, it's... Oh yeah, I'll yeah. take it. It's physical. A bit of pain's good. It's physical. It's physical contact. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Some people are into that shit, okay? It's, it's not his fetish or anything, but... <laughs> Please don't turn to a dominatrix. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, hit me again. Oh my god. Please. Oh, oh. Wait, she's got a whip. She's got a whip. Oh, she yeah, she's practiced with her whip. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, she's, you did she's this to yourself. You did this to yourself. <laughs> Whip gives her reach. Yes, I bet it does. Yeah, that's really useful. I'm trying to fucking prove my game here, my combat. <laughs> you fuckers. But you know what? If you needed rage, if you needed rage, there are many options outside of a whip. You, you got a bow, don't you? You could have had a spear. Reach, not a range that she wants. You know. very Oh, sorry. Yeah. Give you that. Yes, nah, and there's there only, are a few weapons that I could make my dedicated <laughs> weapon and improve the damage. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The more you say, the less I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear oh. me. It's improvement for Thorin's fighting skills. I mean, he keeps fucking losing <clears throat> to the pair of us. So eventually, one day he's gonna win, right? 
He doesn't want to win. That's, that's what we're saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he, let, he lets the women live, uh, win. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's sure he does. Let's yeah, yeah. 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 He's like, actual job it is. You know? This is what I'm saying. Tolori does actually have violent tendencies. She just likes to watch. <laughs> this is true. You're right. No. Oh, is that something else as well? Jeez. No, no, it's not. No, no, no. <laughs> no. no not everything is about sex, Thoritin. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way my mind works. We know, Thoritin. We know. <clears throat> we know. <laughs> Right, well, let's let's get to you two beating it, you three, I guess, beating each other up. Are you partaking, Krusk? Yeah, do you want to come get beaten up, Krusk? You I haven't enough. haven't sparred in the world, Krusk. So you could just stand there. They could just punch your armor. I'll let you <laughs> use your magic and everything. You'll let me use magic? Are you sure, Terry? Oh, you might you might regret saying that. Then again, it is good training. I actually don't have any spells that would help in a spa, but yeah, Krusk, Krusk will go along. It's either that or I go to the Karak encampment, so no, I probably best I go to the Oh, for God's yeah, sake, come yes, come with yeah. us. <laughs> You're coming with us, you no longer have a choice. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you'll enjoy it, Krask. When was the last time you actually used that sword to hit somebody? Uh, not since the, uh... It's been a while, actually, yeah, I can't, I can't remember. I think not since the bandits. You're getting out of practice, man. You can't be carrying mm. around a sword you can't use. Hey, yep. the sword is more than just a sword. It's bonded to me. It's my close companion. Is it the it's the Bahamut oh, sword, isn't it? That, it's a Bahamut sword it that you're is, using, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also my um your my focus. focus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It doesn't do anything, does it? Outside of just being no, in focus. No, it does. It does a few things. Oh, does it do things? Okay, fair enough. I'm not That's as much of a melee fighter now, so No, yeah. Um right. There's a jewel there's a jewel there's a jewel on it which changes colours. <laughs> Cool. Good for you. Okay. Good. No, it's just the flame or the sword changes colours. Oh yeah, awesome. There you go. <clears throat> cool. You've got a colour changing sword. Great. Yeah. That's what everybody wants. That is. To be fair, that it's like a... look super badass. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah. It changes based on my emotional state. <clears throat> you got a, You got a mood sword. He's got a mood like sword a... with his billowing cape. Oh my it's goodness. Probably like a nice blue at the moment. I think. Is yeah. such an anime protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. 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 He really is. He's a very anime kind of guy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, always yeah, resurrecting. He's never actually him. dead. You know, he's just, yep. you know. That's true. All key points. Yeah. I don't yeah. Say. yeah. If he stays dead, refuses. That's it. Krusky is anime. Mm. It's anime. Actually, Krusk is so anime, when you kill him, he stands back up and carries on fighting. That's it. That's, that's it. That's that is exactly is. anime. Yeah. Power of friendship. Power so of friendship. Has, has he gotten a better, like, a better haircut every time he's he's died? Or... Cause that, that would make him peak anime. Oh, sadly, he's, his hair, maybe his beard has he grown He has technically time. had two transformations, so... He ha yep. Well, this is what I'm saying. It's also anime. Yeah. Who am I, who am I sparring, then? Are you two sparring? Me. Yeah, we're going, we're going oh, down okay. to the sparring grounds. Yeah, yeah that's good. Is there anything yeah. interesting there, Matt? Or you, it... you and I can be at the most well. uh, capable in the sparring match. Mm, that's true. And uh, yeah, you're right, you're right, Terry. It's, it'll be good to swing swing a sword again. It's been a while. Yeah, come around with a sword you can't use. And I tell you what, I'll do it blind. Oh my god, <laughs> not that's your favourite trick. Terry, <laughs> I, uh, I don't want to hurt you, Terry. <laughs> I don't suppose that you've got a weird thing about being attacked by a sword of Bahamut? Is anything weird there? Oh, it's, well, it's, it's, true. it's, it's friendly sword. practice. I wouldn't say yeah. it's something to worry about. Okay. The sword, the sword is friendly. <laughs> she kind of just looks up for a minute and is kind of like, in her head, that's all right, right. Bahamut? Bahamut? That's cool, yeah? That, that doesn't matter, right? That's fine. You just get like, a, you feel like a shrug. You feel a shrug. <laughs> <laughs> the most you get is like a. Mm. I'll take hey, it. You got a response. Yep. I'll take it. 
Um, so yeah, so um, you'll make your way to the training ground, and you actually get a choice of training ground because you could choose any of the other tribe, like um, <laughs> tribes training grounds, as well as the Roosters, the city's Craig. own training. Ground. Yeah, we know. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Which one's Why? closest? Why did you mention that? <laughs> Uh, so you've, you've still got a choice between the Goruk and the uh, Ugram. The Grum. They're basically the closest. Yeah. To, get to, to get to the training ground of this city is basically on the opposite side to where you are. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you were to go to one of the other oh, ones... Is it? Would we know that one is there, though? Because it's not in like the standard... Saw the, we saw the camps as we came in, didn't we? Yeah, we saw the yeah. Korak one, yeah. But the, but yeah you you, you walked, basically walked through the Korak one to get to the West Gate, so, um, yeah. and you saw plenty of people training. Um, it was like a train, familiar training round setup. Mm. Um, so it's all, it all looks normal. Then again, so, I yeah. suppose if we've asked where to go at the pub, they might point us in that direction. It's a human town, so you can just ask people. Yeah, yeah. So are we just going to the normal one then? Correct. Oh, of Correct. course. Why was I yeah. not surprised? <laughs> Why don't we just go to Urgram? It's right there. No. no. So close. Right no, we're going to Correct. It's right there. We're going to Correct. I'm going to crack. Why? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Why, Krusk? Why? They're they're crack. Oh. Why? Why? Oh. <laughs> why, why are they crack? I don't know. No. Why do you care? Because they're good people. Krusk. You met them once for five minutes by the side of the road. This bears a very strong resemblance to Thoradin's life choices. I'm not going to lie. We have to go to correct. <laughs> I'm going to correct. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if they'd put some kind of weird compulsion on you. They wouldn't do that. Can you check him for magic? Tolari, can you check him for magic? I mean, he's, he's a sorcerer. I mean, I could do it, but he's most likely going to come back positive no matter what I do. Oh, uh, that's a good point. Is that a thing? I mean, you well up with magical prowess. I'm very magical. You know, so I would imagine that, uh, and plus he's got the sword, he's got the shield, he's pretty much... Yeah, okay, of... okay, Krusk, we'll go to Korak, I, I'm, I'm done with this suit, it's too much. Like, fist bumps, yeah. Korak! <laughs> Just shut up. Now, oh, I don't, I mean, I mean, I don't normally agree with Krusk, but it would probably be a good idea. We already have a rapport with them. People have most like, I mean, in times of combat they've mobile spies everywhere and uh, and they probably the other teams probably know we have conversed with korak extensively so if we suddenly go to one of their other extensive. ones it was like five minutes it's still it's more a, than everyone else i kind the, well, of it's, get it's, it's, it's more and it's enough that if we decided to go to somewhere else outside of the main city they may think we're unofficially spying for the korak and I don't rather not have that accusation pointed to us. Whereas if we go straight to the Korak, there's no accusations. Then everyone will. Then the next time we appear, people will be sure we have an affiliation, especially as we walk part way across. The to be city. honest, sure. Nadia, we already seem to have an affiliation thanks to Krusk fist pumping <laughs> the air, saying Korak, who? <laughs> All the time. This is a good point, actually. I'm just saying that. Oh no, I know it's dumb, but. We're stuck here, thanks to Krask. It's not necessarily good job, Krask. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. They've not shown any kind of hostility, or I mean, as far as I can see, they all seem to be like each other. Them. My know? problem is with Krask's fucking obsession. Oh, he, 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 he's an obsessive. He has an obsessive personality, don't you, Krask? You know, you you got the thing with the cat. You got the thing with the armor. You got the thing with the now the Korak. You had the thing with Tia. You you, you, you just it's just your nature, Cross. It's just the way that it is. It's Sooty. If you manage to get out of the caravan before we dock, uh, him, like... City will City will be with me. Yeah. See, he's just right there. <laughs> to be fair, like Sooty would probably get herself off the caravan. Yeah. Of the person with the most brain cells in that relationship, you know, there's a, it's a toss. I mean, she is a very experienced cat. Exactly. Nadia, if you want a, if you want a cat, cat, Nadia, I mean, you can't huh? have mine, but you can go back to the room. <laughs> I don't want a cat. Don't need a cat. She's uh -huh. a very good dire wolf. I've got a dire wolf. Nadia, 
I feel like you need a cat. <laughs> Chris, Chris, some people are just dog people and some people are cat people. I mean, it's just all... Good for you. you know? I don't like cats. One nearly killed me once. That's enough to put you off, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, it was like it was like a, a, a great big tiger with teeth like this, but it's still a cat, right? Mm -hmm. It counts. For what, it it's counts. for what it's worth, I'd probably never have a dragon as a pet now. I mean, but were you going to have a dragon as a pet in the first place? They're a bit fucking big. What are you going to feed it? I don't it's know. also like a sentient creature that's kind of servitude, isn't that? Yeah, you can't keep one as a pet. They're people. It's more supremacist, isn't it? The cat, the, the cat, the cat is sentient. You get like mini dragons, and she's going to like link her hands together to make flapping motions. I don't. Don't know. Yeah, like mini ones that are like that. They're not really dragons. They're just pseudo little, dragons. Little wingy lizards. Yeah. What is? Oh, they're like little fey things. Are you I flying? Think, yeah. Is that what this is? But didn't I have you, seen didn't you just say them. fey just steals people or something? I don't think I'd want a fey as a pet. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure if they're fey. I, I think they are. Pseudo dragon is no. It says here tiny dragon. Oh. No, you're thinking of a fairy dragon. Ah, uh, okay. Fairy dragons are fey. Funnily enough. <laughs> yeah. it's, in the, it's in the name. It's in the name, yeah. Well, I, I guess we basically could go to Korak and you peep, you guys just beat the okay. shit out of each other. Yeah, like, fight people. Yeah, yeah. sure. Why okay. the fuck not? Are you sure you want to fight Terry? I'm a bit nervous. Who knows? If you, oh, no, if you managed to punch her properly last time? You know, you could decide. Instead of fighting each other, you take on some of the Korak, get some, after all, oh, yeah, what's yeah, better, well, better, was... better experience against other foes, not just each other, you know? Oh yeah, yeah that, was, that was, like, partly why I want to go to training grounds, but... I'd just... like to partially see what Kras can do, and on top of that, I would also very much like to practice against magic, because I keep fighting Nadia, and it's only one type of enemy. Hmm. That's true, and I'm not very inventive when it comes to how I attack you. Interesting. What do you yes. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Nadia. It was getting repetitive. Rude. Well, I'll have you... to come up with some. I'll have, to... I'll have to come up with something new next time and land you on your ass for that comment. <laughs> That's fair. To be fair, though, if you hit someone, hit somebody hard enough, as long as you do it enough, it doesn't matter. I mean, quite fr frankly, your strength is your, you know, real thing. There, it's not so much about form or change so every time you yeah, land the hit that's fucking hurt still important because it doesn't matter how hard i can hit if i can't land the hit that's if i'm true. too predictable not quick enough i'm still a bad fighter even if if i do land the hit i can put my axe through like a whole fucking tree it doesn't matter if i can't get to the person but then you could uh, but you know, don't forget i've been fighting you for months now yeah this is true You know, makes sense. If I am getting repetitive, you, know, you learn what somebody's like. You learn what somebody's good at. But if I am getting repetitive, I need to change it up. Different foes, different experiences. Yeah, mm. different techniques. Mm. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. unlike <coughs> unlike Thorodin and his dream, I am not content to rest on my laurels, and will strive to get better. Fair enough. Well. He's striving so as well, right? To become yeah. the best warrior in the world. Yeah, but when he gets there, yeah. he'll stop. Power. But well, it... I think most people would stop. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> get old, that's what I was saying, yeah. Mm. I'm yeah, going to plateau at some else point. Will be the best. You'll have to retire to... It's all about getting there. Yeah, it's a journey it, before it's, destination. Yeah, exactly. It's all about the journey, yeah. not where you end up, you see. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah you'll have to, mm. have to retire to like a grand house full of, I don't know, trophies and things. And statues of himself. And statues yeah. of yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah. The gold. dream. The dream. He has gold statues. Yeah. Gold, gold statues, statues yeah. Of yourself, and they will all say Thorodin number one on them. Dragon Slayer. Thorodin <laughs> the Dragon Slayer. Yeah, you can have, you can have a different statue for each God fancy killer. title, Thorodin. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Or you yeah. can have your exploits in well, different the, actions. I mean, mm. I, I mean, at this point, exactly. at, at this point, that's what Thorodin's aiming for, isn't it? The... The title that he puts on his yeah. uh, statues at the moment, he's got he's got Dragon Killer. Now he's just trying to, you know, see how grand he can make it. You see, he's already got Next Justice level. Collective. He's got <laughs> he's got he's got Dragon Killer. Now Bandit gonna... Slayer. Yeah, Bandit Slayer. Yeah, mm. Bandit yeah, Slayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sixteen in one shot. 
<laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. That was you... an impressive shot, mind you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. Don't need a book about me. <laughs> All my exploits. Songs That's and it. stories, oh. though, in songs and stories. Mm-hmm. That's when you need a bard with, you know, in the Justice Collective. Okay. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the bard. There is immediately booking it to Korak, dragging got... across by his armour. I could be my own bard. <laughs> I'm sure Thorin can sing. Could it, Kelly? Well, he's drunk, maybe. Drunken, yeah, drunken, yeah. drunken, like, yeah, drunken singing. Yeah. Uh, so, so, you guys head to... Korak Camp's training ground, and what you would normally expect to be a brutal affair is more of a restrained account where people are more focusing on their technique out of half fear of damaging themselves too much before Togagak starts. Is that for another so, two, two days? Is it another two days from now? Yes. Exactly, yeah, so it's two days away. But the last thing yeah, you, you want is NG. like a strained tendon. Yeah, yeah. So you don't want injuries to too much just before yeah. so it's People really working on their, their the form and the function of how they go about their 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 technique, making sure that they are they're comfortable with what they're going to do, that they're limber and strong and capable, but they're not mm-hmm. gonna push themselves beyond or get into a fight for the fighting's sake, even with even with a powerful cleric able to heal them, it's it doesn't quite feel the same for a few days anyway. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. So, so these people are, are working, but you can definitely see that the training ground has plenty of remnants of splintered, broken weapons, um, many like limbs just scattered around that have been buried in the mud. Um, and it's, it's chucking it down in the rain now, so the, the storm is in full effect above your heads. From what you can gather, Talas' rage is going ahead um, above you. Um, well, that's I guess we found another one to add to the list. Yeah. Well, if only, if he only does his raid on us, that's great. But I'm going to be real sick and tired of being damp in a little while. Mm. I don't suppose, I'll ruin my dress. I, don't, I suppose it'd be too much for us for them to like, you know, have it out between them, and then the winner comes to us or something, you know. <laughs> no. Don't give them ideas; they might no. gang up. You know, deal with each other themselves off, you know. Don't give them ideas; they might gang up. Oh. Right. We don't want them. Is there someone it. like in charge of the sparring grounds? Kind of. Just it's a it's a bugbear dyed purple, completely purple, um, as many other bugbears do, um, with like um, lots of scars, very grizzled of a bugbear, and they're just they're more grunt at you than anything. It's just like. Uh, it just points over to an area of like that's less muddy than the rest of the ground. You can just make your own um, room, and you could you could see there is a cleric um, and, and under some shelter, just like keeping an eye out for any like broken bones if, or just to, to, to attend to people if they need it. Um, yeah, much more of a um, dimmed, not as extravagant an affair as what you would have hoped to have been, but considering the circumstances, how close you are to, to the big thing, it's what you what you kind of expect. Mm-hmm. Who's mucking around with their microphone? That's Sunny. Oh, sorry. Um, I can hear the noise. <laughs> so, yeah, so you guys can spar it out however you like between yourselves. Um, yeah. Not many other people are going to be get inter- get involved. They might watch. For, for pointers between any of you, but um, do, they're unlikely to get involved. Are they? Are they? Yeah, then none of them like wanting like a new opponent or anything like that. Not really. They're they're more focused on just trying to not get hurt too much, and yeah. uh, taking on an unknown taking on an unknown person is the quickest way to break something. Yeah, legit. How about TV two? Sure. <laughs> okay. Which two versus which two? Boys v girls, men versus women. How are we playing it? Oh, man. Sounds good to me. All, all we're going to end up doing is uh, <laughs> the the same part, sparring part as we just planned. <laughs> oh, we can 
you know, I'll, yeah, I can face off option. against. Um, I can face off against Turi. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, I was thinking just more it could go on at like the same time, sort of thing. Yeah, you know, you take that yeah. side, we'll take this side. Yeah, yeah. Don't, you know, you can fuck with the line, but try not to fuck too much with the line. <laughs> <clears throat> so, what are the rules, Turi? Anything goes. Ah, uh, just don't kill me. <laughs> oh, I'm, I would I'm, never. I'm here for that today. You don't worry. Ah, uh, I could never kill. No, I wouldn't want to waste that kind of thing on like a sparring match. Kraska is going to um draw his sword <clears throat> and like he's going to like you know bang it against like the shield, like rattle it a bit, you know, just to <laughs> rattle the rust off. Exactly. <laughs> also, you know, like a intimidation sort of thing. Terry is going to matrix just. That's <laughs> <laughs> good challenge. Do we uh, so Matt? Do we do we roll initiative? Should we do like uh, best of well, three? Or... Um, how do you guys wish to do it? Do you want to do a proper combat encounter, or do you want to just do best of three and so let the... I'd be down for proper combat, but it, that'll take ages. It'll though, take right? ages. Yeah, it's yeah. already yeah. half past nine. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, best of three. Best of three? Okay. Best of three. Sorry um, to be a killjoy, but... No, that's, that's um, fair. They'll, they'll deal with it in their minds. Um, because of... Kresk, I imagine Kress can use his magical armor abilities. You get a plus <laughs> five to your... Um, with your, your d20 rolls. Uh, okay, cool. So... Uh, roll number one, please, between Terry Gertha and Krusk. Here's my question, Matt. If I were to burn key points, can I roll multiple times? Yes, you can have advantage. You can, yes. you can do that if you want. <laughs> Through my armor. I, lo I, love, I love the trust. Uh, <laughs> are these just attack rolls, right? Just, or are these just raw, raw d20s. D20s. It's, not a, it's not an attack roll. Okay. That's fine. No, it's just, just d20. Which means a cross queue out of five. Turiga, you can burn key points for advantage. The question is, which is One better, advantage point. or a plus five? Well, well plus five is better. Oh, he rolls a once. I got, I got 19. So what happens? I have to beat the 19, is it? Yeah, you roll one. once and add five. five but whoever, it, yeah. whoever wins out of those two gets the hit. And it's best uh, of three here. Okay, okay, I get it. The, the cons is three. Yeah. Whoever, whoever rolls, like whoever, whoever wins, wins. Yeah. The okay, context yeah. of the hit, you can make whatever. I guess whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. I thought we were doing like attack rolls. No. Which no. case, I would have been <laughs> impenetrable. <laughs> Ten. I have fifteen. Sorry. Okay. So yeah, I got nineteen. So, so I get the first one. Uh, the so the muddy the muddy ground is a bit um. It's a bit, it's a bit of getting used to for Krusk. In as you said yourself, you haven't been like used to to, the, to to fighting hand to hand in a while, and the muddy ground on top of your new weight of your armor is just a bit too much to adjust to. And Turigath just gets the best of you in this in this worst first first encounter. Just whisper, you're too heavy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you got to lose some pounds. You're gonna give the poor boy a complex again. <laughs> oh, the armor. Oh, uh, well, it depends how Krusk's gonna understand. <laughs> take I that. I know, but Krusk seems to have this thing about believing he's putting on weight. He's been harassing about it then. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll compartmentalize it for now. He's focused on the, uh, the combat. <laughs> he'll make the poor lad cry. Round two? Another key point. Krusk, what oh, will you get? Shit roll, 14. Is that your plus five as well? Yeah, that's with plus five. <laughs> that is a shit okay, roll. I got, right? uh, I got a 19 on my advantage. Wow. Okay, again, it's just the even though you like you're able to like cast some magic to like try and like, help boost your armor, you got your shield of faith on, you've got your um your the actual shield on, plus you cast shield at the same time. It's just nothing's helping the fact that you can't get your foot out of the mud in time as Chirigoth just comes up and just like plants you a little slap on the cheek. <laughs> and you just there like, what the fuck? I was admit you're, like, you're in mid swing and you're just like what the fuck? Um very nimble opponent. <clears throat> so uh, round three. Three go there. I would still burn a key point on two competitive. <laughs> Natural twenty. Oh god. <laughs> Ooh. 
I can crusk. Might still be able to beat it. Not with how I've been rolling there. Oh, really? How badly have you rolled? I've, I've just literally rolled like shit three times in a row. <laughs> I got three. Well, eight with um the plus five. So yeah, it was a pretty wow. natural. Nothing on the nat 20. Nothing on that 20. Yeah, so again, <laughs> your, your rust in combat crust has really let in your downfall as... You are literally a standing target. You are literally no better than a a, sta a training dummy <laughs> in this, in it, compared, compared to the speed and ferocity of Turigertha's uh, movement. <laughs> yeah, so you're able to like do a bit more swinging, but you're not really moving your feet. You need to be more, more light on your feet. You need to be dance around a bit more. But the, even as you try, the mud's not helping you at all. Just so... Luffy machine gunned you. That's what she just did. <laughs> <laughs> Cus will, um, yep. That's the end of it, isn't it? Cus will sheath his sword and he'll like hold out like a hand to Turi and say like Ah, oh, clearly I should have uh, been joining joining you both more in the sparring rounds. Well well done Turi. I'll give you some practice next if you want. Yeah. Go for it. Um, and I'll uh, I'll say before you fight Nadia, maybe just lose the shield. Do you a really think of... I'm heavy? Look, oh my God. no. Just You're wearing plate, you mother. All, all of that armor is going to slow you down, make you slower, and in mud, you're more likely to slip over, and you're going to be too focused on keeping your balance. Just, just a suggestion. It's true, Terry, but uh, I need to learn how to fight in this armor, no matter the terrain. It's, it's, it's an essential part of my fighting style. Good enough. And get stronger and carry it better. <laughs> Broiden hasn't been waking me up for our daily runs, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> drop, drop and give me 10 crusk right now. <laughs> in the mud. We'll do 10 push ups. Uh, we're not here in, in Thoradin fighting while crusk yeah, is yeah. 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 Did you guys want to it? You guys want to fight or do you want to be more relaxed affair? It's up to you guys. Should we roll for it like best of three again? Yeah, yeah. Quite fun. yeah. Yeah, okay. So you guys are um, very evenly matched. So, um, and you don't have any extra buffs there, so it's just mm. straight, straight d20 rolls. So, um, round one. Off the bad start. Eight. Twelve. Oof. Are you Thoradin's, okay. You're Thoradin's been, for one. Thoradin's been learning a few times. <laughs> I think he's gonna let out his rage. Yeah, <laughs> he's proper riled up. I think he's gonna. Yeah. He's pissed. Yeah. He's pissed. He's annoyed, but he's got oh. like. You've got some extra confidence going from the the the, the storm at his back, giving him some fond memories for his time with Talos. This is giving him an extra spring in his step. Uh, he manages to land the first so. blow because he just got in that one. <laughs> Oof. Well, yeah, he's not yeah. confident. He's there's something going over him, putting him off. It's probably the storm. the storm. You got yeah. that one. I got three. I still Oof. beat you. <laughs> wow. wow. Look, I think the mud, the mud, the mud got you guys both very solidly in this one. You both just like glide at the same time, and it's just Nadia's just just at the last moment manages to get her axe onto Thoradin first before Thoradin like falls over, which <laughs> lands the blow. Damn. So round three. So you're this tied a piece. Right. Yeah, sudden death. Well, no, still going. Oh, oh yeah. Thirteen. Oh, Thirteen and a. Oh no! This my dice. My dice like has abandoned me. I only rolled a two. Oh, jeez! What Change terrible dice. luck! <clears throat> it's first yeah, of three no. anyway, not best of three, isn't it? Normally. No, it's first best of three. Of three. Oh, oh so we did first of three. Best enough. of three. Okay. So, um, um. Thorin, Thorin gets. Thorin has finally won a sparring match. Yeah, you gotta give it to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did have a rage to get out. He did. <laughs> Let's out, let's out a cry and the thunder just like beckons him back, trying to claw. Try, you think you're trying like, to claw him back potentially? You're not quite sure. It's just like a mixture of, of many emotions between Thoradin and the storm. Mm. That's what's going on. But you were both thoroughly muddy from slipping and falling and over the, all over the ground. But I was just sitting there thinking, man, I'm glad I'm not getting just, 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 just dirty in that mud. But she is warrior. getting slightly cold and wet standing around doing nothing. True. True. But at least it's not muddy. That's that's the main thing. <laughs> her white ro her white robes. Um 
Beck- Luckily, they're magical, so they don't get as dirty as a normal. That's what I say. Yeah. Does, is the right white robe still white, or is it brown to the knees? Probably, probably quite dirty by now. At least a little bit, yeah. That's it. So you want to do cross versus Nadia? Yeah, he's done. Yeah, his Nadia, thinks that, <laughs> Nadia thinks like the fight with with uh, Thorodin is fucking hilarious. Giggling away. She always does this when she fights. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Come on then. So again, <laughs> I've had pretty of... bad luck. So, <laughs> so again, it's just. He gets an unfair advantage. He does. He gets a magical piece of thing. He gets yeah. a plus five because of all of his armor, and plus he can cast uh, shields as well. Yeah, he uh, can cast shield. So, Cross right. gets a. Better plus numbers five. this time, you dice. So, round one. Krusk, what do you get? 19. Oh, no, I got a 16. Yeah. <laughs> Above that I would bonus, man. You if it were for your armor. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's not like uh, an assault. It's not like Nadia's or Krusk is like slow on their feet in this moment in time. It's more just the fact that Krusk is just feeling this lecture bit of like pump. He's done his push ups. He's like, yes, come on. <laughs> And he's just finally in, in the in the zone. He's like locked in just a little bit more. And at the last second, he casts his shield and, it bat- and Nadia's axe just glances off enough for him to get the, the hit on to Nadia at the last moment. Okay. Round two. Ooh. Nadia, what do you get? Oh, he rolled really badly. I only got an eight. Ooh. I say really badly. It's just below half. Hey, unnatural 20. <laughs> Oof. So again, Krusk buoyed by his uh, magical, magical uplifting and the, the push-ups from <laughs> from Thoradin has, oh, has buoyed, buoyed presence enough. <laughs> majors, in, little... majors in armor, that's the worst. Yeah. Yeah, yeah majors it's... in armor, that is definitely the worst. Yeah, you're, you're, uh, it's even though like um, you you lost in in the bout, you definitely like got what you felt would normally have been hit if it wasn't for the magic. Like, you were, like, right there in the moment, and then it's just at the last second, the, the magic just bounces off enough for Krusk just to get the hit in at, in the last moment. More just getting are we doing, are we, are we, are we, in the moment. Are we doing the last one to make it complete, or...? Can do, if you wish. Yeah, if Nadia gets a hit, so okay, it's a Krusk. What do you get? 20 again. <laughs> I got like a 12. <laughs> you roll really well. You roll really badly against Tyrion. You didn't even need to roll that yeah. badly for her to beat you. Because she <laughs> He's just giving you some tips on how to fight in the mud. So, you so know. It's, it's, it's <laughs> right, just yeah. shaking off all that rust. Dude. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, Nadia's somewhat easier to hit than Tyrion. She's a bigger target. Bigger. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, and it's a lot, lot less willing to die. Vibrating dodge. slightly. I'm like this constantly. Yeah. <laughs> Russell did the same Get thing. He'll hold, out. <laughs> He'll hold out his hand and say, um, good, good fight. I'm, I'm being pretty good after those push-ups. I think I'll work this into a morning routine each time I wake up. Yeah, I think you've speeded up. Either that or I've slowed down. Well, it was good, to, uh, it was a good, it was a good workout. We should, uh, we should definitely do this more often as a group. You're the one who keeps not coming along. I was going to say, we do. Actually, we do. Like, Tyrion like a lot. Like he... <laughs> I know. Yeah, Tyrion and I have fought each other enough that she's now complaining I'm boring. <laughs> Not boring. Just predictable. predictable. Even worse. <laughs> even worse. Look, friends are honest with each other, okay? Just a little teeny little bit predictable, yeah. <laughs> Even worse. And look, see, you're shit talking me, and now I've lost against both Cross and Thoradin. Now what am I supposed to do? A bit harder, I guess. I don't know. On technique. I'm sure the bug players have something they could maybe teach any of us. Looks around for <laughs> any technically they're advanced not, they're not, bug players. They're not all. They're all not getting involved mm. because they don't want to get hurt. Maybe you could try, like, having an, a secondary weapon or something, I don't know. You know, not always using the axe, maybe having something else as a, like, sort of a backup, as it were. Use, I can use other weapons, maybe you're right, maybe I have been using the axe for too long. I like axes, though. You could always get a different like a, type of axe. A, a different, 
Yeah, but the trouble with an axe is that there's one thing you can do with it, and that's basically hit somebody with the sharp bit. Like, there's mm. different techniques if you've got a single-bladed or a double-bladed axe, and it somewhat depends on the shape and, like, the heft of it. Like, this one... Why, like, do you, why do you get, like, a double-ended axe? Then, then you don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, but neither would I. Practice. <laughs> 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 they like, they like won't be able, they won't be able to practice against you. You have already chopped them up. That's true. But I like my current axe. It's cool. It glows. Oh, well, stick another axe to the bottom of that axe. Can't just stick <laughs> an axe to the bottom of an axe. It's not like you can't just like glue them together. Why? Be like be like Darth Maul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, well, okay. Maybe that's, that's oversimplifying it. But you know, I'm sure you could go to like a smith and they can. Do something. I think know? that would that would probably be overcomplicating things. I don't know. I'm just putting things out there. You say you know you're saying you're boring, so I'm just trying to figure you know. See if, uh... I just need I just I just need to vary my tactics up. Mm. Mm. Why don't you hit him with the? Because well, it's a two it's a two handed axe, isn't it? You're what you you're, you're using. Uh, it can be either she wields it either one or two handed. She's you, got you, a shield sometimes, mm. and sometimes she doesn't have a shield. You could like I don't know, hit him with the bottom end, put a spike on the bottom or something. I don't know, make it sharp. It's got like a roundel on it. You could probably put a fair dent in somebody with it, but and you absolutely you could hit somebody with the bottom end, but it's designed to be swung. You know, from mm. the handle. All the weight is at the wrong end for that. I absolutely would smash somebody with the butt end of it if, you know, I had to. Well, my, my bow is a different weapon. Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I should vary things up. Maybe I should go back to swords or something for a while. <coughs> mm -hmm. I mean, obviously the axe is very good for, like, the undead or something, but, you know, when you're not using the undead, it's not kind of as obliterating. You know? Ah, but against the undead, it is very, very oh, good. Oh, indeed. Well, we don't. Unfortunately, we don't fight the undead on a regular basis. I don't know how many. I don't think that's unfortunate. Fight. No, I said fortunately we don't. We don't. Oh, fight. fortunately, I was going to say. Because we've only had this only the one town. We've seen enough of them that this axe has definitely been worth it. Oh, 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 of course, of course, of course. But you know, it kind of kills two birds with one stone, as it were. You know, you can change it up. And also get a weapon that's suited for when we're not fighting the undead. Potentially. Yeah, it still chops things that aren't undead up pretty well. True, true, but you know. It's just not quite so impressive. It doesn't, like, crumble them to dust in a burst of radiant glory. Which is always fun, I suppose. It's yeah. always interesting when it happens, yeah, yeah. But... Right, yeah, right. The other things still, like die, you still hit them and they like bleed and things. Mm. Are, any, are any of you going to carry on beating each other up or are you done for the day and we get out of this rain? You could have stayed at the inn. Yes, but if you hurt yourselves and I wasn't there to fix you then, you know. He's protective of us. It's leather, it's nice. <laughs> She's like my mother. Yeah, but then she complains about it the whole time. Uh, it's the prerogative of being the mother. Tanari's saying nothing to any of them. <laughs> 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 yeah, she complains the whole time about it. So, you know. Well, if someone, if someone doesn't look after you, who's going to, I suppose? This is just true. When, when, you're, out when, you're, when your children are spending the entire day beating the shit out of each other. You know? She just said that the children... The whole day. It's not the whole day. Well, We've barely been here half an hour. If it's you, if you're not beating the shit out of each other, someone is beating the shit out of you. I want so. it to be known. I'm a very peaceful person. <laughs> but people aren't really? peaceful towards you, Krusk. That's the issue. That's true. <laughs> Krusk. <laughs> Got my dad about that. Ooh. Yeah, that's not peaceful. You can't say you're a peaceful person. When, I mean... when you've been going around like saying how great these people are who are dedicated 
May I remind you to go to violence? <laughs> and but also, Cressy, if you were peaceful, you wouldn't have died twice. Fair. I like being. Uh, I, being I died peaceful. protecting my family, the JC. <laughs> yeah, being being peaceful JC. and like getting slotted can can you know go hand in hand if you find somebody who's willing you know to attack and kill a peaceful person. Unfortunately, there are quite a lot of them around. The sad world we live in. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> right. Are we? Are we done? Can we? Yeah, I'd rather go somewhere a bit more dry and warm. Uh, um, challenge for I did actually. Since we've only got four minutes left anyway, I might as well do the trifecta. I sure you want to do this? <laughs> At least I won't feel bad about hitting you. I suppose the last time you do you two did anything was a tree tree cutting, wasn't it? The, oh, yeah, the log true. Cutting. Yeah, so throw it in. I'm uh I'm one nil down at the moment. I need to need I wasn't quite ideas. myself back then though, so I've just won rock, paper, scissors three times in a row. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> 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 Let's do this. Oh, you wanna do uh, rock, paper, scissors? <clears throat> no, 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 we just do a normal one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Chris, mm -hmm. again with your uh, magical advantage, you get a plus Definitely. five. A whole plus it. five is some bullshit. Why do you think I've earned a key point? It actually five. gives you guys a chance of beating me, because if I actually was using my AC, you wouldn't be able to hit me. Yeah. 16. Okay. What's your AC again? Like 30 yeah. some fuck. It can get up to 30. 20. Yeah, you're 20. 20. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> it's the tree all over you. I got 11. Can I hit you? Ooh. That's the question. Oh, that was you made your AC 30. That's it. So, again, so Chris, Chris is feeling a bit overconfident from himself, perhaps, from <laughs> beating Nadia. Um, and so the first the first blow does go to, to Taradin. It's like, it's like almost like by overconfidence, Chris has lost some of his technique and allow Taradin a lot of opportunity to get in and hit him. Round two. Oh, Krask? Nice. 20. Oh. I've got eight. <laughs> oh, my. With, after being hit once, Krask is a little bit more focused once, once more and is able to just get his feet under him enough to, to, to time, time his blow right as a thunderstruck and a lightning, lightning bolt. Was close by, startling Thorin ever so slightly enough to allow. <laughs> <laughs> to allow what is love hate relationship with this storm? <laughs> Lightning isn't on the my side. The next one, the next one could be directed at him. You just never know, do you? <laughs> yeah, that's why he's so twitchy. And round three. No. Got Ooh. eight again. You got nine. Nine. Oh, oh man. Bloody dice. That's so close. So, it's very, um, very close between the last one. It's um, you lot of give and take, lots of lots of meeting at blows at the last second. Uh, they end up flick each other off and uh, defend. And then at the last moment, the lightning goes off again, even closer. And this allows the crust the, the one opportunity to get in and, and hit third in the last moment. Winning. Attacking during a thunder strike. Very anime. It's very yeah. <laughs> it's <a> very anime. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Now are we done? Now if you, any more? Any more? You need oh, a nice cr waterproof cape, Talari. I do. I think I might uh Invest in some kind of protective cover over me. Preferably held up with a stick, you know. <gasps> Nadia is going to take her coat, like, her coat off and put it around Chilari's shoulders. Oh, thank, thank it's you. It's heavy, Nadia. it's damp, it's made out of leather. So it's currently heavy, damp, and smells slightly like wet dog, but it is very warm. Uh, at, least it's, at, least, at least I'm warm. Thank you, thank you Nadia. <laughs> but, uh, shake, shake forehead in hand as well. Well, well done, Thoradin. Uh, it seems I paid you back for the tree cutting. <clears throat> well, I mean, that was a much better, more competitive. That was a better one to win. This is just, a, you know, a spa. But <laughs> you, you, did, you did well. Did well, well. why don't we, uh, maybe we can do tree cutting again next time? Yeah, maybe. 
Yeah, once we get out of this like bloody storm. Load of trees fell. Yeah. I'm just going to say this uh, out loud. Um, oh, so, off. Arthur can hit me if he burns key points. <laughs> and that's well enough. Wow. I can. If, if I roll an 18. 18 or, I, or, eight, 18 or eight, above. 18 or higher, and I burn the right amount of key points, I can hit him. Blimey. <laughs> Done. And and if I rolled a 19 every time, I have enough key points to be able to uh, hit him every round. Wow. Um, so, uh, I'm legit shocked that I actually can't be hit. <laughs> you can be hit. Yeah. And actually, funnily enough, in those rounds with the advantage, I had enough to be able to hit you those three times. Oh, sh oh really? Oh, shit. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we nice. just throw some, throw some deck saves at him. I've got some spells oh, yeah, that just require deck saves. Save you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm now determined to raise my AC. Just, just, just a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm like maxing out though. I mean, maybe I can get like braces of defense or something. Uh, that doesn't well, work. You've got a shield. Um... Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I can do much more than to boost it. I think I'm literally maxed out. Running out of things to attune to as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Dude, I don't really need more. AC. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe I can get above that. I I can't believe it either. I thought I was insane. <laughs> Nice. So, as you guys make your way back to the the salty fox to to have a bath, to have some, get yourself near a fire, get some warmth driven back into you. Um, the it's a bit too wet to go out for the rest of the day, um, and most most shopkeepers are only willing to deal with uh, Tokagak business um, so close to to the to the event, so. There's not many shopkeepers open to dealing with you unless you're willing to spend a lot of money to get their attention. Mm. But as um, as the day or mo what's left of the day goes into to the evening, it's it's a hearty day. There's there's lots of like drinking going around, plenty plenty of celebrations, and lots of like bolds and brashness going around with the the young young fighters willing to like make a name for themselves in Togagak. And so it's just a it's a nice, like, light-hearted atmosphere, considering that you guys have spent so long on the road, at, on edge in the mists, and for once tonight you have a, what you hope to be a, a peaceful night. But next time on the Ascendant Lands, will they all have a peaceful night? Who knows? Let's find out next time. <laughs> <laughs>